There are three major angles to consider when looking at a simple knife edge. There's the rake angle, as denoted by the symbol alpha, knife angle denoted by beta, and relief angle denoted by gamma. The rake angle has the most influence on cutting. It is the angle at which the knife edge enters the material. For harder materials, a smaller rake angle is required to withstand the increased impact forces. For softer materials, a larger rake angle can be used. The knife angle is the angle of the actual knife edge. It is largely determined by the appropriate rake angle and the required relief angle. Tools made from brittle materials such as carbide will tend to have a larger knife angle to give it higher impact resistance. Tools made from tougher materials like high-speed tool steel can have smaller, sharper angles. The relief angle is required to prevent excessive rubbing on the heel of the knife when cutting. Without enough clearance, high amounts of friction can heat up and weaken the blade. Also, the rubbing can smooth the surface of wood, making later finishing stages difficult. Now let's quickly investigate the difference between orthogonal cutting and oblique cutting. Looking from above, we can see that orthogonal cutting is when the knife edge is perpendicular to the direction of travel. In oblique cutting, the knife edge is at an angle to the direction of travel. The oblique angle is represented by the symbol lambda and is the angle between the knife edge and the line perpendicular to the direction of travel. This angle is sometimes called the shear angle because it creates a shearing action. The shearing often results in a higher quality cut because it distributes cutting forces along the knife edge better.